Welcome back. All right, let's talk money. If Congress does not act soon, a series of federal spending cuts and tax hikes will automatically go into effect in January. It's the so-called fiscal cliff, and it can really take a toll on your finances, regardless of where you are in life. Chad Tobin from Slagle Financial is here to help you prepare for what is ahead. Always nice when you come in and try to soothe our our fears just a little bit. Ease everything going yeah. on out there a little bit. Thanks yes. for having me back. You bet. Let's talk specifically, at least initially here, about retirees, folks that are living off of their life's work. Fiscal cliff is going to impact them how? Well, there's a couple main things that we're looking at. And of course, as you mentioned, um, we're probably, we're anticipating something very last minute with Congress and, and with our government. So As usual lately, yeah. Right now, we're kind of up in the air. So, But we've got a couple things that we talk about. Number one is, you know, increased taxes on dividends um, and interest as far as, you know, for investors or retirees. Mm -hmm. This is something that is going to be, you know, really needs to be looked at is what your real rate of return is. Um, you know, the average company in the S&P 500 uh, their average dividend pays about 2.1% uh, before taxes. Right. Now, um, if taxes go up on these dividends and interest, you know, your real rate of return is going to go down. So your purchasing power is going to be a lot less as well. And that is part of this fiscal cliff ultimatum, right? Because right now the tax on those dividends is capped. It could, if nothing changes, it could start being taxed to just like normal income is, up Absol to 40%. Absolutely. Currently, it's the maximum rate on that is 15%. Mm -hmm. And so now it's going to go to your income, and you could be as high as up in the 40% tax bracket. So what about Social Security? Well, I think the uh, so-called payroll tax, payroll tax holiday that President Obama uh, put in place in 2010, um, that's going to go away with, which, you know, recipients of Social Security... Their benefits, the amount they're receiving isn't going to go up. However, this 2% uh, additional tax is going to be going in to kind of help uh, build back Social Security. So it's a good thing in that regard. However, the, the bad news is the Social Security payments for yeah. recipients isn't going up. But I think uh, to try and, and rebuild some of that damage um, to Social Security is very important. A lot of retirees out there probably looking at the home that they're in as a bit of a nest egg. Maybe they, they've at least got a lot of equity in it. They may own it outright. What about the value of those homes? You know, one thing's for sure, we don't know how the mortgage rates are going to be impacted mm -hmm. or affected through all of this, but I think uh, when we look at the big picture with uh, limited, um, you know, government spending, less government spending, we also have less uh, employment, maybe the employment numbers are going to be lower. This, these are things, uh, your, your purchasing power is going to be less because of the increased taxes that we just mentioned. So it's going to probably impact the value of our homes, and, and hopefully we don't see you know, that, that home values really decline, but I think it's something to really pay attention to. You know what you really need to do? You need to talk to some kind of professional. <laughs> because this gets very complicated. We're just scratching the surface here. Chad, thank you very much. Thank we you very much. appreciate you stopping by. You can contact Slagle Financial, by the way, by calling that number right there, 888-294-9248 or slagelfinancial.com.